Introducing the new Titans of CNC Multi Hammer. Now, you may be wondering what's so special about this hammer, and it's that it does an incredible amount of awesome things. So we have a hex right here that can be used for a speed handle for a vise. We have a hex on the back end that can be used for your castle nuts for your T-nut set. The handle is ergonomically designed to fit in your hand and eliminate stress when you're beating on your parts. On the end of the hammer, you'll see that we have a beautiful knurled aluminum attachment and then a knurled ball peen attachment. Normally, a hammer like this made by me would retail for over $1,000. But if you click the link below and you go to our online academy right now, you'll get all the models to make this yourself absolutely free. But if you like this video within the next 30 minutes, you'll not only get the models for our multi-hammer, you'll also get the non-marring Delrin attachment the food grade stainless steel attachment, and my personal favorite, the meat tenderizer. Now today I'm gonna walk you through the entire process that we use to make this hammer. So the first thing we're gonna do is come in with our Kenna Metal Stellram face mill, and we're gonna just take five thou off of that top surface to clean it up. Now we're gonna come in with our core fiber and we're just gonna rough the whole outside shape of the hammer. Our next operation is super important. We're gonna come in with our Kenna Metal TX drill and we're gonna drill two holes in this part all the way through the stock. The reason that this is important is because we're gonna use one of those holes to probe for location of our part for our second operation. Now we're just gonna come in with a quarter inch end mill and cut our hexes. For all these fillets, I used a couple different tool paths. We used water lines so that we could get the whole outside fillet around the whole handle. And then we came in and did a bunch of flow line passes to get all of the curvature for the top of the handle. Now I also programmed in some engraving that's gonna give us an almost knurled feel to the handle. And that's gonna be around our Eagle logo. For this, I'm just using the quarter inch 60 degree engraving tool. When I saw Barry machining his hammer, he told me that the model's actually available at academy.titansofcnc.com. So I went over and I downloaded it completely for free. But since I love 3D printing so much, I wanted to make my own custom attachment and print it on our Metal X out of 17.4 stainless. So go over to the Academy, download the model, customize it, make your own hammer, do whatever you want, but make sure you show us on our private Facebook group. Boom. All right, now that the first side is done, let's flip our part over and start the second out. So for this op, I designed a set of soft jaws to hold our part perfectly.
Ever since Barry made this hammer, everyone in the office has been obsessed with it. What? It's a meat tenderizer. What? We don't have a spoon. 